Hey guys, this is uh, the first in a series of modules teaching you how to uh, use GeneMarker to score microsatellite markers. So step one would be to open GeneMarker. And once you've done that, um, you'll want to open all of your uh, spectra files. So here, I've put them all in the same folder for convenience. Let's do, let's do injection A, select all, and then click OK. So what just happened was it just it op it opened all of the files, but it hasn't actually tried to score any of your marker markers or anything. So um, what you'll next want to do is actually run a panel, right, which is just a set of markers on the samples that you've now loaded into the program. So you click Run, and then hit ABI 5 Color, and then you open the panel. Um, so I'll teach you how to develop a panel in a different module. But let's assume for now that you've already made a panel. So my panel is, since this is injection A, right, so that scores a set of uh, loci that I've collectively called injection A. I think there's 12 of them, 12 loci. And then you want a size standard, so you should be uh, familiar with, with which size standard you used. And you can import a size standard if the one that you're using isn't already here, right? So this will usually be a ROX or something like that. I happen to be using Liz 600 ICBR. Standard color, I keep it orange. Analysis type is fragment. Um, and since I'm working with an animal, I'll use animal. Click next. Um, I use all of the default settings here, but obviously you can tweak these, and you can tweak these on an individual locus basis later, or you can do the entire panel here. So I would click Next. Again, a few more features that you could change. Feel free to ask me about them. I could post them in a future module. And here we process. This will take a few minutes because it'll um, go through about 652 samples for me. So I'm going to pause and come back when it's done. Okay, welcome back. Um, a few minutes have gone by, all the, all the samples have been processed. I'm going to click OK. At this point you'll want to save your project. So I'll just save it. Um, And after you've saved, you'll go to View, <clears throat> up here, Preference, and Display Settings. Here, you'll want to change the max number of open charts, especially if you have more than 96 samples. Um, to 96, you can't go above 96. Um, that's the max it lets you. And max uh, number of charts per page. Change that to 6. Um, and the reason for this is because if you don't, if it's fewer than six or more than six, uh, it'll be hard to actually, uh, you'll become prone to skipping samples inadvertently. So just, just trust me when I say change that to six. Okay, click OK. And here, uh, since you've already run your panel, uh, you'll want to make sure the size, the size standards look good, and that's a topic I'll cover in the next module.